Aloha, my YouTube friends. Happy Wednesday. It is Shayna here on Z Mike. All right. Last week, I talked about how to manifest anything. That's where I touched upon the two main ingredients of manifestation, a strong desire and a strong belief. Now, these two ingredients, you guys, are so critical that I decided to create two additional videos to elaborate on these concepts even further. This video on strong desire and next week's video on strong belief. You can thank me later. Okay, how to manifest or achieve any goal, whatever verbiage you want to use, starts with having a strong desire. A desire that's birthed from your highest self. And what I mean by that is the kind of desire that when you think about it, it resonates so deeply that it feels like love. It feels like the truth of your soul and it creates a fire in your belly. Not like, yeah, sure, I want more money, a new career, and a nice car. No. Listen, one or more of those things very well may be a true desire of yours, but you've got to really connect to it. So for example, maybe you really, really want to turn your side hustle into a full-time career this year. That means $100,000 a year. You really want to make hundred k this year so that you can do the thing you love full-time and get the hell out of your day job big difference between, yeah, sure, I want more money. Now, I'll talk more about this in a minute, but first, I want to talk about what a strong desire from your inner being does not look like. Desires that are not in alignment with your true self. Number one, the people pleaser desire. This is something that somebody else wants for you. All right, story time. About eight years ago, I was sitting at a sushi bar sitting next to these two guys. One was very quiet and the other guy was very outgoing. And we got to talking and I found out that the quiet one, we'll call him, was studying at UCLA right over here to be a doctor. And it was very evident in the way that he presented this information to me that he was unemotional and very much aloof about this life choice of his. So me, of course, two glasses of wine deep, blurted out, why are you studying to be a doctor? You don't seem happy about this decision at all. And the loud friend responded because his parents and twice removed cousin, I don't know, are doctors and it runs in the family. And I was like, screw that. I was like, look at you. I said, you're miserable. I said, this is clearly not what you want to do with your life. And then the loud one chimes in again and he's like, see man, she doesn't even know you and she can tell that this isn't what you really want. Anyway, my point is, if you are working toward a goal to please other people or another person in your life, it's possible to work really hard and achieve it, but at what cost at the end of the day? Truly, at the expense of your own joy and at the risk of the relationship with the other person or people you're doing it for. And it's going to feel really forced and hard, you guys. This kind of desire is not from your inner being. This desire is nothing more than to please other people. And that is a fear-based desire. The next fear-based desire to avoid, number two, the entitlement desire. This kind of ego-driven desire sounds like, I should have this thing. I should be making six figures. I should have a big house by now because it is my right to do so. I should be the one to get the promotion at my job. Get a grip, all right? That is not a desire from your soul. That's simply an I'm entitled to this thing because I just am and I should have this thing that I desire. In fact, it's unfair that I don't have it. So give it to me because I should have it. You better check yourself at the door, my friend. When you have a desire from a place of entitlement, you have no intention of taking responsibility for it and in the achievement of it. But rather, you have an expectation of what should be that is currently not. That ain't going to get you anywhere, all right? It's not going to get you very far. All that does is cause you to feel powerless over your results and just sit back and wait for a handout. All right, last but not least, number three, the cookie cutter desire. You think you're supposed to want it because everyone else is wanting it or achieving it. 
well, I guess I want to go to college. I mean, that's what everybody else is doing after high school. That's what everyone says is the next logical step to success. So that's my desire. Or I should probably want to settle down and have kids now because I mean, all my friends are and I think that's what I want to. Once again, this type of desire, you guys, is from your ego, not your true self. It is a desire birthed from fear. If I don't want this thing or seek this thing out, I'll be judged for it, for not wanting the same thing as everybody else. I'm scared to be different and carve my own path and claim my own true desire because it's not as conventional maybe. Guys, a strong desire from your inner being will feel like love in your body when you think about it. It'll create a fire within you. You will come alive. When you daydream about this thing, it'll feel real. You'll feel it in your bones. I want this thing. I want it so badly. It almost feels like you've had it in another life and it's like there's no separation between you and it. So you've got to really connect to your inner being to uncover what you really, really, really want. Not from an ego standpoint, but that of your truth. You must feel into what you really want. So play around, like explore your different desires. And when you think about this thing, when you think about a certain thing, how does it feel in your body? Now, in the beginning, I wouldn't get too tripped up like, hmm, why do I want this thing so badly? You may know right away why you want something, but if you don't, if the only thing you know right now is the way it feels, that's enough. Just recognizing that your desire is coming from a place of love and not fear is powerful enough. With that being said, here's a very quick exercise to just like get you going here. Go ahead and write down 10 things that you desire in your life. It can be anything from a new apartment in your favorite city to a raise at work to straight teeth before the age of 30. Then you want to look at that list and circle three things that you really, really want. Then go back through the list again and circle the number one desire that you really, really, really want right now. That's your starting point. Feel the strength and grit and determination behind the desire you choose. Journal about it. Why do you want this thing so badly? Who would you be with this thing? Imagine yourself already having achieved it. Get into that feeling space. Feel the fire. Feel the passion of it. And I will see you in next week's video, part number two, Strong Belief. Bye. Hey, if you found this video useful, you've got to check out Recess. It's where you get access to all my trainings, YouTube guides, and the best part, weekly coaching with me. If you are ready to level up with the rest of my students, go to www.recessschool.com. See you there.